hi everyone well, welcome back in this section we want to set up a coordinator okay so this is a the, the zip file the, the coordinator the later version i've downloaded you know from the official website and also i want to have some you have it on your system okay in our previous lesson you know we discussed on how to download coordinator by going to www.coordinator.com then you click on download then you download the latest version so i want to assume that you have it on your system right now okay this is the one i've downloaded the latest version 3.1.10 okay so what you need to do is you have to right click on it then you click on extract here so by the time you click on it can you see that confirm file replace because i've downloaded it i've i mean extracted it already i've done that so i don't need this let me just close okay then uh, uh just uh, you right click on it then let's click on code you can decide to copy but i just chose to cut on my on my side here okay let me just call then you go to your local disk say your WAM server or zam you look at an hd you know uh, HD dogs if you are using zap okay you, you use uh, HD dogs you look at HD dogs yeah that's why we are gonna paste the the, 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 the the folder but in my own case I'm using one server so I'll go to you know C I'll go to one server and I'll go to W directly then I'll right click and click on what text and I want to bring it to this place okay can you see that is here voila so congrats I mean uh, code igniter 3.1.10 okay I think it's not it's, it's, it's not okay like this okay so we just need to re let's rename it something else I will right click I'll click on rename so what name should we choose um okay let me use score you can decide to use anything not necessarily you use score okay you can use anything you can use a uh, uh, ERP you can use anything okay uh, I want to use score on my own case okay so I'll press um I press enter okay so it's here yeah, now I have the folder this is the coding data folder okay by opening it this is what you know you see that the user guide the systems and applications and some other files okay we still coming back to this but let's just text if a coding data is properly set up on a local server okay so you on your um on your the, the one server okay i've already on it it's it here so can you see that shows color green it means it's ready so let's go to our browsers okay then um in my own case i'll use one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one okay so if you are using windows 7 you can decide to use look at os okay but in my own case i'm using windows 10 and i prefer to use in a one to seven dot zero dot zero dot one so i says you know look at you know server environment okay so i'll press enter okay so these are the software I've just developed. I have on my, you know, on my, on my server ready. But the most important thing is I click on this code because that's where we are going for now. Okay, so that you can click on it or you come to this place slash, you know, school. Okay, just press enter. Wow, can you see that we have successfully set up a code igniter? Can you see? Welcome to code igniter. We have a page rendered in in a social seconds. And the version is code ignited version 3.1.10. Can you see that? So we'll be discussing more about the application controller you know, welcome the welcome PHP. We'll be discussing on the view, you know, controller and motors because that is what code ignited is actually made of. Okay, so we'll be you know looking into some basic things in the next video. Thank you so much, you know, no, 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 for taking this calls. We'll see you in the next lecture. Bye for now.